Hello, my name is Corinne Wood and I am an end of life death doula. Wait a minute, what does that mean, right? I get the reaction of, oh, people get sheepish. They almost look fearful when they hear it. And so I'm just here to get rid of a couple myths or a couple of misunderstandings of what it might be. So I'll try to walk you through the best way that I can, and no, it's not perfect, but it'll it'll help you open up your eyes just a little bit to what it can be. So it derives from the Greek word of woman helping woman, doula, and it was women helping other women give childbirth. Over the years, it has been still the same in that area, but it also, doula means coming up alongside someone for their end of life journey. And I know that can sound scary, and I know you might be saying why. It's something that, as a general, most people don't talk about or discuss. They are in denial and they think that it's never going to happen. Or not to them, or right, not right now. I don't need to think about it. We all need to think about it. We're all going to have a day when we quit breathing. So what does that look like? Some people, it instantly makes you feel uncomfortable in fear. I understand. What does a death doula do? How do they come in? It could be that you aren't even facing death right now. You don't see it in your future very soon. Um, it could be someone who does know that it is coming within a certain amount of time. Or it could be imminent. It could be hours left to live. There are different parts of the journey and we help you through every one. Well, what do you mean you help us through? Um, it's kind of like the best way I can explain it is coming in and helping you button up every aspect of your life, helping you see all the different things that need to be taken care of, all the different things that can be done to help make that easier for you. How do you envision it? How do you want it to be? Um, there's lots of many different situations. There's many different doulas. No two doulas are alike. Just like no two people are alike. No two deaths are alike. Everybody requires something different. So when you decide, or maybe you haven't decided, but you want to talk a little more about it, you set an appointment up. We sit down and we talk about what your wishes are and your ideas. Can I help you with that? How can it be done? Obviously, in a half hour, we can't even begin to touch what all the different things that need to be addressed and taken care of and thought about. So it's a process. It's a long process and it can have many different things that need to be looked at. Like when you set back, you calm down and you think about all the different ways that you may die. We get confused, right? We get overwhelmed, some people. This just helps walk you through it slowly. You might have a legacy project to be done. You might have arrangements that need to be taken care of. You might want everything done so your family has nothing to worry about. Because a lot of times we think we burden people. That's not true, but for some reason we think that. I come up alongside you and I help walk you through that. I help you with it. I don't tell you what to do because it's your life. It's your wishes and that is why I am there to respect that. It's not about me. It is all about you. It's about encouraging you, comforting you. Well, what do you mean? It's a hard subject for a lot of people. It can be a really frightening journey for a lot of people. I'm consistent. I'm there for you. I'm there for you until the end to have the best death possible, if possible. So, if I know a lot of people say, well, I still don't understand. I'll give you a couple examples. Maybe someone lives out of state and you can't be with them. They would call me and say, can you go set with my brother or my sister or my mother, or my aunt? Can you go set with her? I can't do it. Can you step in where I can't? I um, recently was with a woman, her mother or her daughter couldn't handle setting with her mother while she was dying. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody handles death differently. So that's where I came up alongside her. I It's just comforting someone, just saying, you know, I'm here with you. I'm not going to leave you. It's me being there until your very end. 
that is what a death doula does. There's lots of different aspects to this. Maybe you see something different on how you would like to die, how we, how you would like the room to be, how you would like, there's just so many things. Maybe you would like a living wake. Maybe you would like to have a funeral where you're alive, you invite your friends and family, and you're celebrated. Everybody talks about the difference you've made in their life. I mean, there's just so many things that can be addressed. And again, it's non-medical. I'd have nothing to do with the medical side. That's for the doctors. That's for the health care. Um, I am involved with hospice, but I'm not there as a hospice representative. I am there for you alone. I'm different. It could be someone calling me at two in the morning and saying they are actively dying. You need to get here. That means I get out of bed. I have a bag already packed. I am on my way to be with you. I will be there. Obviously, I only serve people in my local area because it's not logical to think I'm going to fly to Los Angeles, right? It, it's too much time. We don't know how much time you have. So I serve everybody locally. It could mean you're in a nursing home. It could be that you're at home. It could be that you're in the hospital. I go to you wherever you are. And you can change your mind at any time about what we talk about, about what you want. There's nothing written in stone. It's about your wishes, not mine. So it's something I take very seriously. It's something I'm very committed to. Why would you want to do that? Why? Ever since I was a child, if there was a person in distress, if there was an animal in distress, if they were dying, I was grieved for them. That's the only way I can put it. And I have a need to be with you to help you through it. I hate the idea, I'm honest, of anyone dying alone. I hate the idea of someone being in fear. If I can at all help you, encourage you, support you, just let you know someone is there with you, that is my goal, is to be there for you. Just so you know that you're not alone. I know not everybody feels they can do it. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody is expected to do it. We all have different things that we feel a need or that we're drawn to as humans. We all have different interests. So what I can do isn't what you can do. What you can do isn't what I can do. Um, so it isn't for everybody. But if you feel it's something that you need or you want to talk about and it's at any point in your journey or someone in your family's journey, don't be afraid to reach out for me. That's what I'm here for is for you. So having said that, I hope you have a good day ahead of you, a good evening, whichever it is, and I'm here for you. All you have to do is reach out. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.